Hi again, everybody. Welcome to the Mark Few Show. I'm Greg Heister, along with the coach. And, and coach, I guess we have, uh, well, you have your first sample, your first, I guess, real sample. They played against Texas in the scrimmage down in Denver, but now you put them out on the court against Southern Oregon. Uh, what would you learn? Oh, you know, I think I, I'm, we're learning that out probably Steve and then uh, and, and me, you know, and probably uh, Kelly and Sam. We, you know, we're still trying to figure out maybe some combinations uh, out there on the perimeter. Nobody's quite stepped up. Though I thought uh, Dimitri Goodson tonight uh, really made a big jump from where he's been. You know, the last uh, weeks. Sam Dow rebounds. I think in like 16 minutes. Uh, Zag fans have not had a chance to see him play yet because last year was his redshirt season. Coach, uh, Sam's got some talent, and I know you're going to be able to look at him different. Rich guy, you're going to see mistakes with feet and defense and stuff yeah. like that. But now he's, he's got a gift. I mean, he always seems to stat out better than you think he. I mean, I didn't realize he had 17, you know, yeah. but uh, he, he can score. His ball goes in. Uh, I think that's going to be something this team needs and can use. So, uh, you know, Sam's one of those guys that's had a pretty good fall camp. You know, uh, he and Rob probably come to mind more so than any of the other guys as far as having a, uh, a good fall camp. I think Elias was having a good fall camp too until he got hurt. And uh, that, that they kind of stand out to me as, as far as maybe their play uh, uh, relative to their expectations. And, of course, we didn't see Elias play uh, in that game against Southern Oregon, but you're going to have that four-player rotation down there. How does this team look different than a year ago? Bolden obviously gone, but how does it look different? Well, it's just a lot different. So, I mean, Matt had his hands on the ball so much and, and just uh, made things very easy for a lot of people. And I think that's, you know, uh, I knew uh, obviously last year, you know, that we were going to miss that uh, uh, this year. So, I mean, this team's going to, it'll probably be more difficult to generate baskets and they probably won't maybe always be as aesthetically pleasing but I mean with those guys you know you're talking about four legitimate uh, players you know inside that actually aren't just inside they can all even Rob now has really worked on his range and can shoot the ball out to 15 16 17 feet and and Kelly Elias uh, and uh, Sam can all shoot it out to three you know very easily and in some Times, I mean, that can be a strength of their games, which they get a little bit too caught up in. So, I mean, I, I think that it's going to be a team built from the inside out, and then, and then you got a great player, Stephen Gray, out on the perimeter. So, overall, were you happy? And I know as a coach, you can always I mean, <laughs> go to the locker room happy. unhappy. What is happy? Were you, you know, were you, I mean, are you satisfied uh, where they're at at this point? No, uh, you know? absolutely not. No, okay. not even close. I mean, I, we turned the ball over way too many times today. Uh, we, are, are, you know, we spent a lot of time kind of trying to get some better flow offensively after that Texas scrimmage. So our defense, I thought, took a step back. We weren't in the right positions defense, especially with our help defense. So uh, uh, satisfied, no. Happy, I mean, I, I'm not I'm pretty sure. Happy yeah, anyways, I'm right? generally happy. So, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess that we can say happy. You know? <laughs> It's a great place for our time out. It's the Bart Few Show. When we come back, the Coeur d'Alene Casino Fan Question of the Week. Plus, <laughs> you're like seven feet tall and, what, 1,200 pounds? I'm 1,200 pounds. Yeah. I'm a semi, basically. Okay. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, yeah. I sit down with the always entertaining big man of Gonzaga, Robert Sacre. But first, the Rod of Pain finish of the week. And it comes from the first half of the game against Southern Oregon. Dimitri Goodson gets the outlet, goes the length of the court. The no-look pass to Stephen Gray for a reverse layup. Oh, 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 that's nice. Rada, fresh local paint made in the Northwest for our Northwest environment because just like in hoops, it's the finish that counts. And welcome back to the Mark Few Show. Time now for the Coeur d'Alene Casino Fan Question of the Week. And it's Mike from Spokane who writes in and asks, Coach, the NC2A really seems to be cracking down rule violators at big-time programs with a number of highly publicized cases recently in both football and basketball. How do you as the head coach maintain control of your program on a daily basis and make sure that you know what's going on from a compliance standpoint? 
Uh, yeah, wow, that's a deep question. <laughs> we a lot could talk, of parts we could talk to it. for days. I mean, probably. I don't know that they're necessarily cracking down more anymore or any less, and, and not necessarily on big time programs. Uh, I think, you know, in this 24 hour news cycle that we're on right now, uh, I think we're inundated with pretty much anything and everything that happens. Uh, you know, the NCAA rule book is incredibly thick. In my estimation, it needs to be uh, shrunk down to make it easier uh, to follow. But first of all, I, I, I hire great people uh, to work with me, uh, you know, when I look at my assistants. And there are guys that I trust that I, I know they're going to try and, and uh, to do it. We try to do it the right way around here. Our, cl our compliance department has really grown over the years as, as the athletic department's grown. Uh, so we got a lot of help. I even have an outside firm that uh, kind of uh, sends uh, uh, me, you know, all the transgressions and violations that other schools have done. Uh, uh, that I'm able to disperse to my staff so they can look those over so make sure we're not making the same uh, uh, type of mistakes. You know, a lot of mistakes that are made out there that people are referencing, you know, uh, again, when a rule book's this sick, a lot of those aren't made intentionally. You don't, yeah, you don't know, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, now some are, obviously, I mean, and that's a problem in our sport, but I mean, uh, I think we probably need to focus more on the really, really big ones. Uh,